My first taste of drug is when I'm 15. I involved with drugs problematically for 20 years. I was sentenced to prison for two times for a small possession of heroin during that time and two times to rehab center. And actually, it doesn't stop me from using, as I'm currently using. The so-called war on drugs is driven by the idea that crack down on people who use drugs or who are involved in the drug trade, the drug uh, problem will go away. 20% of the prison population now are in detention for drug-related offenses, including for personal use of drugs. People who use drugs do not forfeit their human rights by virtue of their drug use. And that in parallel, we ensure that their other rights are met as well, in particular, the right to the highest attainable standard of health. We are witnessing, in some cases, increasing human rights violation related to the drug control efforts. This includes uh, extrajudicial killings, the fear of criminalization, of arrest, and of punishment acts as a huge structural barrier that um, drives people away from seeking um, health and harm reduction services, um, such as HIV preven prevention services, needle and syringe programs, for example, and um, has led to an epidemic of HIV amongst people who inject drugs globally. With the criminal record that I hold as a prisoner, for a small possession of heroin at that time. There's no way that I can do even e-hailing job. I cannot do grab or I cannot, I cannot help others. We are asking state to change to move from the punitive approach. Policy changes could also help the criminal justice system to put, take away the pressure from them for only for this crime.